What's up, Infected? Welcome to the Quarantine. I have a, another unboxing here for you, a Kickstarter of hope. Now, I'd like to apologize if I sound different at all. Um, I'm getting over some sinus uh, and allergy crud, so uh, other than that, let's just dive into this. So, first and foremost, it's got one of those slidey boxes, which as of right now, I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, because when you're uh, storing your boxes, when you pull it out, you're, these have a tendency of slipping and sliding. Um, I don't remember a lot about this. I remember I kickstarted it just because I really like the aesthetics of it. Um, so, yeah, I'll shut up and let's just dive into it. Uh, I do, other than that, though, I don't remember a lot of the theme. I think it was like uh, time traveling, maybe, or like alternate dimensions or something like that. I, I don't remember what the theme of it was. I just remember I really liked the the look of it. I've heard some horror stories of the box it creating a vacuum in here when you try to slide it out, which is another problem. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. So let's see if we can... Yeah, that's not wanting to budge at all. Holy crap. All right, let's try it this way. Right, is there some kind of like seal I'm not seeing? Like I can... I can get my hand in here, like this, but when I try to pull, it's just not coming out. Alright, hang on. Holy crap! Oh, wait a minute. There's a hole right here, so let's see if... <laughs> it doesn't want to move. Jesus Christ, is there like another hole I should be pushing on? Come on. Oh, holy shit. Alright, yeah, so I am having a hard time getting this box open. Like, at all. I've heard, been hearing a lot of horror stories about this, and I thought they were maybe exaggerated, but... Yeah, no, I'm going to destroy this box trying to open it. You know what? There we go. Fuck! Jesus Christ! Yeah, so if you kickstarted this, beware. <laughs> Holy hell, I hope it's not that hard to get this thing out from here on out. Why was that so hard? Jesus. Alright, well, there's that. There's your initial opening the damn thing. Um, Alright, so we have... Join the Hope, Special Forces, whatever. Um, so we have... Livret Regalis, Rulebook. Alright, so it looks like these are just the rulebooks for different languages. So, we only need English here, and I'll probably put this under the insert or something. Um, we'll put this over there, this over here. These look like, yeah, player reference sheets in different languages as well. Those over there. Then we have the board. So the board is, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little lip there. It's, so you're going to build this board like this. And if I remember, at the end of this unboxing, I'm going to put everything, put the box back in and see if it'll slide back out. Uh, I may have a cut or something while I put everything back into the box because some of you guys may know when I do my unboxings I just kind of lay everything else out. Also, these don't want to... There we go, I think. Or is that not supposed to go there? Hmm. About this. Okay, so some of these, I don't know if there's a special way these are supposed to go together. Okay, that one... Seems to go together a lot nicer. Alright. And that doesn't really go together that well. Are these like numbered? <laughs> Are you supposed to... You know what? We'll figure it out later. I don't really feel like toying with that here. A lot of those don't want to line up though. I don't know if there's a very specific order they're supposed to get connected or whatnot. Um, Maybe there is, and I'm just not seeing it. Who knows? All right, so we got this. The cardboard seems really soft, actually. Um, 
not really dense, not really soft, kind of flimsy. Uh, in general, the same thing with this. It, it feels thick up here, but it's also very spongy, which is not a good sign. Um, don't know what that is, but neat. So we got a deck of cards. Um, conversion technique. Don't know what that's for. Deck of cards here. Um, then we got these cool things, which I think was another reason why I kickstarted this, because I like stuff. So we got a cool little ship here. Um, another. There's like a TIE fighter almost. Is that gonna focus? Probably not. Well, looks kind of like a TIE fighter. Uh, and then we got a little silver ship. The green one's by far the biggest. I don't know if these are all different or relevant. And we got these cool things here. And then we have a big black or gray ship here with looks like more TIE fighters. I don't know what the relevance is. A yeah, little black one. And this, I'm gonna put this in the bags. I'm wondering if that's like uh, for a solo mode or something like that, maybe. I don't know. All right, um, then we have more cards. More teeny tiny cards, like this. Don't know what they are for. Then we have a little Space Bro, probably first player marker. Um, this also might be a first player marker. I don't, this is, yeah, a little suction. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Okay, there we go. It was stuck. Um, then got these, which look like little stargates or something. I said, I don't really remember the theme of the game. I'm guessing it's space. Um, yeah, it's the year 51. Unthinkable has happened. The universe has begun to collapse. Earth's greatest mind gathered. Uh, the human organization, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it looks like you're trying to travel across the vast universe. Um, holy crap, lots of little space dudes. So we'll pull out the best color and uh, we'll go with that. Okay, so it looks like the green player has the biggest ship. <laughs> I don't know if that's relevant uh, or what, but you got a little bunch of little space bros. Then we got bags. So. Fancy bags, there's nothing nothing special about them. They got just one for each color. Big enough to get your hand in. I have about average size hands. Uh, maybe a little smaller than average, um, but mine fit in here, no problem. So if you have bigger, bigger hands, you should be able to get three fingers down there at the bottom, no problem. And you got these little obelisk looking things, which look pretty cool. Don't know what the relevance to the giant one and the tiny one is, but whatever. Pull the insert out, which is a clear insert, which is neat, but I also don't like because hiding the other stuff under the insert, you're now gonna be able to see it, and I'd rather it be out of sight, out of mind, but whatever, not, not super big deal. I'm guessing this is like the player, or not the player board, like a central board where certain cards are at, and different decks of cards with these backs I'm assuming and then objectives or something I don't know and again cardboard feels a little on the spongy side like it's not average cardboard like you know a cereal box yeah I bent this trying and having to try to get that out it's bent a little bit but whatever um, but it's it's also not nearly as thick as I would like or as dense as I would like but whatever let's see if these are different no, not really. So I feel that these will probably start to curl or warp if exposed to any amount of moisture. Um, but it remains to be seen. I'm guessing these are like money. Oh, <laughs> maybe. All right, so let's go and I'll just flip these over here. And yeah, so these are different sectors of space. You can see little planets here. Neato. And then the player boards, I do remember this. So you have a player board here. And I don't know if all the, yeah, there's just different colors for the player boards. And then you have different captains or whatever you want to call them. And you just put that down in here. Kind of neat. 
don't know if the two different sides are different or do different things. I don't know. So we have Le Brave or The Brave. Let's see, uh, The Prodigy. Um, oh, what the hell? Whoa. See the difference here? I didn't even notice that. Let me check these ones. Oh, yeah, they've. Oh, I totally didn't even notice that <laughs> there was color on the other side. I wasn't looking at that. Um, but yeah, so you have the Earthling, the Reverse. She's cute. And then more commanders. <clears throat> you can be a dog. Game over. GG. You can be a dog. Game over. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this stuff, just put it back in the box and then put it back in and see if maybe the juice that first time pulling it out, everything was sticking. Um, and hopefully that is the case. Uh, Cause it looks like I was able to bend this back into place. There's a little crease here. Um, you could barely tell, but there is a crease there where it bent trying to get the stupid thing out. Um, but yeah, there will be a cut here, uh, the net, and it'll just go into me. I put everything back in, so it's got all the weight. Um, I'm not going to bother punching these just yet. And then we'll see if sliding it out is still a problem. All right, so I got everything back in the box. Uh, like I said, I haven't punched anything. Um, I just put it back into the box, but best I could that I could remember. Um, and if you're like me, I hate pulling out. I don't think I have ever pulled out, so my dismount game is terrible. So let's see, let's see how well this works. It's kind of a tight, snug fit, and that's probably part of the problem. So we'll use this and see if it. Okay. Uh, help! Send help! Okay, there we go. My thumb got stuck. So yeah, pulling it out after the first time, it's still a bit snug. Uh, which is going to solve my problem where pulling this off of the shelf, things slide out. Uh, Fog of Love does that, um, so you got to be careful. So that's going to solve that problem. Just be warned, if you're watching this before you get your copy or if it winds up hitting retail, uh, re you know, retail um, be warned, be careful. It's going to take a little bit of uh, muscle to get this out of the box initially. Uh, they were probably... I don't know, everything was probably printed or wrapped or whatnot and then put together too soon. Things probably expanded, um, making things really, really tight. Um, anyways, that was my unboxing for Hope. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine. One more thing, I, I was punching uh, everything out so I can fit it back in here and I just wanted to make note, you're gonna need to be very, very careful with these. I almost bent this just punching this out with how uh, flimsy this cardboard is like look at this that's that's barely these things are super flimsy so if you're not careful you're going to bend them right here and it's going to probably render them almost useless so be very careful